Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my Let's Make an Open World RPG. Um, so, from the last time we left off, we're gonna actually, first of all, before I get into this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and like this video if you liked it. Uh, let's try to get this video to 100 likes. Um, that would definitely help me out a lot. And I definitely appreciate you guys for that. But now let's get back into this video. Also, don't forget new merch down below. Um, and I've got a thing the Lord he took me out the maze. Two tunes, that's a sound of a new bitch. 2020, oh yeah, gotta get rich. So yeah, we're gonna continue setting up the weapon types and stuff like that. Uh, so pretty much at this point, we're gonna copy most of the stuff because we've already made it in the previous game. If you haven't seen the last episodes, make sure you catch up before you watch this because you will be completely lost. So pretty much the weapon types that we have in the game um, is your bare hand, a dagger, a sword. This blank right now is just there for um, a placeholder. Um, an axe, a staff, a bow, and a spear. Um, and later on, I'm going to actually um, break those into bigger trees, actually. Um, but right now, those are the main weapon types. Um, and ta -ta 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 -ta. so let's go to weapons over here. So the base ones that we have, just copy all 29 of them. Delete all of this. Paste that 29 over. So uh, while we're here, let's also just copy the armor it's over. Uh, there's another important thing I want to show you guys that um, I'm doing for this game that you might find interesting for your games. So, uh, go to skill, go to attack. Okay, so pretty much, now I have a custom formula um, for how attack is kind of determined. Now, if you're a melee guy who doesn't use magic, Okay, so this is pretty much the um, the gist of it, right? So this formula asks you if um, a certain skill type is sealed, right? So pretty much when you're using a, um, anything magic, it seals your skill type, right? So if your skill type is sealed, um, you're only allowed to use magic. So at that point, this is um, pretty much triggered. So all it does is it time um, it changes um, what it uses to determine your attack. So if, for example, if you're a mage, it's not going to be using your attack. I mean, it's not going to be using your attack to determine the damage. Um, and if you're, what do you call it? If you're someone who does actual damage, like physical damage, it won't um, use your uh, magic attack into consideration. And also, if you see where it says weapon proficiency uh, or WPROF, that pretty much um, is another uh, plugin that I use, which um, as you use a certain type of weapon type, um, you level up that weapon type so it just adds that extra damage to that weapon that you're using So that's pretty much all that does and then it pretty much differentiates between if you're using magic or attacks uh, I believe I, I had it broken down into two before but then I kind of combined it into just this one using that formula Which made it a whole lot easier um, We've already copied the skill skills I don't believe so we're gonna copy over the skills too at this point um, I'm actually trying to get everything over by this episode because I'm actually trying to move on to the game well in the game because I've um, this more I want to move forward nowhere else to explain it but I want to get to the next level well uh, I don't really have to explain much um, to you guys um, with classes and stuff like that if you been using RPG maker uh, The classes is the same um, in my game classes don't actually matter that much um, As you can see all it really does is give you some buffs um, But besides that it doesn't really do much um, No matter what class you are you could use any type of weapon any type of armor They're just there for the minor passives that you get um skills we're gonna get into in a little uh in another video um it's a little bit complicated items we have our oh let's copy items too mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Down to 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 down and I'm gonna go over what the items do in a little bit once this updates. So, at the top we have our arrow which you need to use your bows and stuff. Um, you have your potions, um, your healing potion, mana potion, um, healing a mana potion, I mean health a mana potion, your cure potion for poisons and um, all those other stuff. Um, some other potions that um, heal you by percentage, some attack potions, some agility potion, um, magic potion, luck potion to increase your damages and stuff like that in your um, your luck you have a luck putt which will increase your gold drop for 300 seconds um drop boost which will increase your item drop and a whole bunch of boost items um and then you have your resources that you collect in the world you have your wood um plate which is like um well for you steel and stuff scale iron steel titanite uh chrome leather so might uh so forth cotton and all those other stuff that you need to craft your weapons and stuff uh, and then you have uh, monster drops. You have your bat wings, uh, goblin fat, ogre ear, and so forth. You have your upgrade materials. Um, you have your tin, dark um, steel. So you use these items to upgrade your um, weapons. Now I've been playing a different game called Abion, so I might be kind of changing the the um, the material. Well, not the material, but the enchanting system in this game and the upgrade system for the weapons and armors but who knows i might keep it the same but that's what those are right now and then you have your fire sigils again to um these pretty much add enchantments to your weapons so the fire sigil will add a fire enchantment to your um to your sword so your, and that does fire damage fire symbol um pretty much adds um fire to your armors and stuff so it will have fire resistance and stuff um, these are your crafting books. Once you get the crafting book, you unlock whatever um, tier level that crafting book can, you know, teach you. Um, also, if you go to the crafter, um, you could also just unlock these from there. A uh, whole bunch of spell books. These are kind of special, as in like when you read it. It gives you a random it calls a common event which gives you a random spell that you haven't learned before and then the skill will also give you a um, random skill you haven't learned before um, got some stuff got some um, key items over here got some gold bar silver bar just stuff for you to sell um, some more key items and then these are the bedroom stuff that I'm gonna be doing when you are able to design your house and stuff uh, talked about the weapons um, these are gonna be the unique weapons and then we're gonna do the rare and then the other legendary stuff like that uh, armor we already went through that enemies we did that troops not needed states 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 let's do states right now all right so now that we have our states uh, so pretty much let me kind of go over these um you have your regular states that come preloaded with the game like um, dead guard poison blind and all that other stuff um, I added a couple more like magic evade I think that those are actually stock and then I just left them there because I actually needed those resist slow and freeze those are regular and then once I really added this magic um, health regain magic regain arcane shield um, which pretty much um, blocks all um, magic attack and then paramount shield which does the same but for physical damage and stuff like that um then we have a couple more buffs and stuff like that and some other stuff that we need to get other stuff for working like the double money which is used for the item that doubles your um drop rate uh animations i believe those are all stock that's yeah those are all stock except for maybe a couple of 120 this goes up to, maybe I added one or two 124 yeah that one I added myself so let me just get all of these all right we got those tile sets uh, that was one of the first things we did common events all right let's briefly run down the common events um, so the first common event called game tracker I always use it to keep a tra uh, keep track of a couple of um, variables like your gold how many steps you've taken um, your X and Y position on the map, uh, uh, the month, the day, the minutes and stuff like that, your player level. Um, and this is also what resets the 
uh, what resets the run uh, the random shops every day. So every day that passes, the shops will get a new stock. Um, any enemy spawner, all this does is pretty much spawn the enemy in the world. When you call it, it will um, drop a whole bunch of random enemies in the world for you to kill and stuff. Spell book, again, I explained this to you before. All this does is pretty much gives you a random skill you haven't learned before. If you want me to do any in-depth um, guides on these events, um, let me know. Uh, summon Death Wolf, this is just a... Uh, don't worry about that. Chest spawner, the same, but it spawns the chest. Um, weapon skill battle stat start. Uh, don't worry about that. That's old. Pet spawn one. Uh, don't worry about this because it's actually a better way to do this now. Uh, weapon skill call. Uh, this is pretty much what kind of the takes the the weapon proficiency stuff. Pet eggs. How you get um, hatch your eggs and stuff. Uh, just a whole bunch of restock this is how the shops restock and add the right random items to the shops again if you want me to do any in-depth details because these are actually quite complicated uh let me know but again um you don't have to add those in your game it's just all optional uh dungeon spawner ice dungeon spawner fire these just spawn um enemies in the dungeons um when we get into it um uh, i'll explain that more uh so pretty much to kind of minimize the lag in the game uh oh two announcements i'm going to be changing up the how the map works um instead of having one big map i'm going to session it off to 50 by 50 maps also um this was a way to kind of try to minimize the lag and stuff but it kind of didn't work all that well um but it, instead of um having uh a whole bunch of events to transport you to places i just had this one common event that tracks your x and y location and then once you touch that event i mean where you're supposed to transfer at it would just uh trigger the common event which is always running in the background um but yeah that's pretty much what all those do. uh system let's see regular actually types not system regular um, I change this to spell on that those are regular I've already explained those to you guys we have our general armor magic armor light armor heavy armor and then we have our um, equipment types which is weapon shield blah 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 and pets uh, terms I don't think I really changed anything over here so yeah that's it for this episode um, now our game should be pretty much identical at this point except for one big thing um, as you can see plugins I still haven't added all of them yet um that we will be doing in the next episode well guys stay tuned after that next episode um everything we do from then on will be new um yeah i'm excited guys i want to add some more stuff to the game get it done for you guys i know this video has been taking a long time to get out for you guys but it's just been busy and the world is falling apart and who knows what else is happening but yeah make sure you hit that subscribe button smash that subscribe button hit and smash that subscribe button like the video if you liked it dislike if you didn't like it uh comment down below what you would like me to talk about change or like uh new march down below make sure you um support the team uh also i got new music on the way and also new music released also all links are down below make sure you check them out uh thanks for the support appreciate you guys have a good day peace